What's up, FLA squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy whatever day I get to post this video for you guys. FOA, we have a lot to do today. I mean, a lot. I have to do some laundry so I can put back the clothes in storage that I don't need to take down south with me. I also need to go past my Asian grocery store, H Mart, and pick up one or two boxes of the Japanese curry. And the, I also definitely need to shower and shave my face and my head today as well. But that'll be a little bit later on after I finish everything. But the big project for today is I want to rearrange the inside of my van. And in the short period of time that I have been staying in my van since I came back from Japan, which by the time you see this video, I would have slept in my van three nights I don't want to keep putting my bed up and down, taking my bed up and down. So I decided that I was going to lay my bed out and keep my bed out. But the challenge to that is trying to decide where to put my bed, where to keep my table. And the biggest issue was my jackery. I'll show you what I mean in a few, once I get into that. But my jackery sits about this much higher than the connecting points for me to put my center board on that fills the gap in when I make my bed. And so therefore that board cannot sit flush against those four points on each side of this uh, kit. So I'm thinking that I should be able to lay my jackery down on its back. From what I understand, the jackery will operate laying down on its backside. So that's what I plan on doing to make it a little bit flatter. And that board should hopefully be able to go ahead and sit on its connecting points so that I can make my bed. So that's my plan. And I plan to put the table, which you guys are sitting on right now, on this side. Because right now I make my bed up right here. And that's like at the point of entry and exit, which makes absolutely no sense whatsoever. So I'm gonna put the bed on the far side of where I come in and leave out of the van and the table here. Now putting the table here is gonna make a huge difference because it's gonna make it so much easier if I wanna just take that table down and make a full size bed, which I'm not sure how much I will be doing that, but the option will be there for me if I want to make a full size bed every night. But the point of laying out my bed to stay out permanently so is that I don't have to take my bed up and down every night. And having my bed up permanently is, you know, when I want to come in here during the day or whatever and, and just lay down and relax a little bit, I will be able to do that. Or I will have the option to sit where I am sitting now with my table right here. I can have my laptop right here, etc. You'll see what it all looks like when I finish it. But the big ta-da is to change my layout for today. And having my bed out permanently is a benefit in two other ways. First of all, I'll have this empty space right here and I can take a pee much better at night because I'll be able to kneel down on the floor the open space, which is my point of entry and exit, and I'll be able to take a pee much easier. Rather than when I had the bed right here, I had to kind of kneel down one leg on the bed, one leg down in the floor section and, and try to take a pee that way. I won't have to do that because this open area will be open. And the second benefit is it's gonna free up one of my storage compartments. I have four storage compartments in here, two on that side and two on this side, speaking of the kit that I uh, bought and put in here. So it's gonna free up this storage compartment here because this is where I keep all of my linen in and my my uh, my blankets and my um, sleeping bag and all that stuff. But with my bed being constantly out, permanently out, I don't need this space for to, to store those things in. 
And speaking of my sleeping bag, I slept in my sleeping bag last night for the first night. And at first I thought it was gonna be uncomfortable because I'm a side sleeper. And sometimes I switch sides and everything. And I thought that maybe the sleeping bag would confine me and wouldn't allow me to comfortably switch from side to side. But it didn't and it felt great and it was warm. It was about 30, 30, I guess about 30 something degrees, 35 degrees last night. So it did well and I did feel comfortable with it. And so I am going to make it a part of my permanent bed whenever I get to that today. Well, guys, enough talking. Let's get to it. But first, I want to start my day off with some breakfast. And yeah, in my last video, I opened up a package and I was gifted this flat bowl here, which is a foldable bowl. And thanks to Lantion who pointed me in the right direction of a video that showed me how to uh, turn this flat thing into a bowl. So I'm gonna do that right now. And I'm going to have some cereal, some Special K. I don't know, these Special K might be, uh, <laughs> they, they might be stale as long as I had them up in here. And I had them back when I, my last campground visit before I went to Japan. And I have some milk here and a spoon. I decided I was gonna try some oatmeal, but I, I didn't know how this thing is gonna perform with something hot in it. So I said, let me start off easy with something cold. So now this thing here, I was trying to connect the other one. It's actually two bowls and I was trying to put the two bowls together to make one bowl. And this is actually one of them is just one bowl. So basically you have to just crease the sides of them, which I found to be a little difficult. You had to put some little muscle into it at first to try to get them all, you know, loosened up. But you just take that in and you fold it in and you have a snap. You have an outside, an inside snap and an outside snap or whichever way it is, outside or inside. That part right there. And then you have that part right there. Now I fold this up so that the words and everything are on the outside. That's my hint or my uh, clue to let me know that I'm folding it the right way. If in fact that's the right way, I think it is. And anyway, you take it and you fold it in like that and you snap it and it, it becomes that, like that. Now if you do that on each side, you start to form your bowl. See that? And there's your little tiny bowl. Now, I don't know. It, it feels like this will hold liquid in it, and it, it feels like it will hold liquid in it, and it won't, like, seep out of the sides of it. But we're going to find out right now, because we're going to put some, some cereal in there. Let me see if I can push you guys back a little bit further so that you can get a better look at what I'm doing here. I don't know. That might not work, you guys. All right. Whoa. These damn tripods get on my nerves. Falling all over the place. Supposed to be steady. Ain't steady worth a... All right. We'll see if that... Okay, I gotta raise y'all up just a little bit more. Let's see. There we go. Stay still. All right, let's get some special K up in here. Ooh, special K with strawberries. I ain't gonna put a lot in there. I don't think I had my refrigerator on all night because when I went to get my milk out of there, it was like at 188. I'm like 188 when it should be like at 36. So I came in into the van and 
I pushed the uh, socket all the way into the jackery and lo and behold, the thing went beep and came back on. I said, good gracious, if I wouldn't have wanted some cereal this morning, a uh, squirrel up on the um, trash can. If I didn't want some cereal this morning, my refrigerator would have been off all day. All right, let me see. Let me let me see what this is about. All right, I got the cereal in there. Oops, as you guys can see. <laughs> mm. Look at that. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That is pretty neat. I really like this. And it, it seems like it's going to be easy to clean. Don't look like it's seeping out nowhere. I hate eating after I put my dentures in in the morning. I usually eat and then brush my teeth and put my dentures in. But since I was making a video today, I did it in reverse. So this is gonna be another <clears throat> tag along day with me while I run some more errands. I have to get these things done before I head to Baltimore on Saturday. I'm actually not going to Baltimore. I'm actually going to Edgewood, which is about 30 minutes before you get to Baltimore. And now, uh, Saturday, I'm gonna check into a hotel for Saturday night, Sunday night, leave out Monday, then start staying back in my van again on Monday through Thanksgiving, and then I'll be heading back down south after Thanksgiving. All right, that's pretty good. Just hold it out. I just hope one of them snaps don't come apart, but I don't think it will. Especially after you use it a few times and all the hard creases are kind of bendable now. But anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and finish eating this uh, bowl of cereal, get this cleaned up, and then we're going to get into uh, rearranging the inside of this van and making it a little more comfortable, a little more accessible, less work to sleep in nights and in the mornings. So I'm pretty excited of switching everything around and I'll see you guys in a little bit. <laughs>
clear everything out. This is my sleeping bag. It's from King Camp. It's pretty nice, pretty nice. I don't know what degree it is. I think it's a, I wanna say a 30 degree camp, uh, sleeping bag. I brought these cookies back from Japan, but I ate most of them before I got back to in the States. <laughs> these are crown bakers. These are nuts and cranberries. And I thought it was gonna be a box of cookies. Look at my eyes watering. I thought it was gonna be a box of cookies, right? And it turned out that it came in, it was a little eight little, an eight pack like that. I was a little disappointed, boy. <laughs> but they were delicious, boy. They probably all hard now from sitting in the cold. Heavens, I got so much little junk up in here, little things. I forgot to take my vitamins, but I'll take them after I finish everything. This thing is dirty. This thing left a, a, a heaping amount of, look at that. And I set that up on my dashboard. Now I got all that stuff on my dashboard. All Now we gotta go around the other side and I take the stuff out on that floor. Now my laundry bag is gonna stay where it is. But I gotta take my rice cooker out And these things right here, this is my heater, and then I'm gonna get my fan out. I might sit these in that space that I have my uh, linen and everything. Now, none of this is gonna work. None of this is gonna work if that jackery, when I lay it down, doesn't lay flat enough for me to lay that board on top and on, on its connecting uh, pieces. All right, now I gotta go around the other side. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Ah. 
all that dirt. Take that out. I got all that dirt. Look at that. All that dirt from that daggone thing. That, that's all I want here. All right. Now, hopefully, I can lay this jackery down. Ay, ay, ay. That don't look like it's going to fit me either. Ah! Seems like the jackery is still the plug. Oh, my heavens. Come on now. Come on now. Ah! I think the <clears throat> excuse me. I think the plug to the refrigerator is sticking up too high. Yep. Yep. The plug to the refrigerator is sticking up too high. Let's see. Put this jackery back. Yeah. Let's see if I turn it this way. Push it all the way. No, hold up. I turn it sideways. Oh, this might work. This might work. Because now the plug. Oh, let me move y'all down, son. Move y'all down just a little bit. This might work because now the plug right here to the refrigerator is past the point of these. So let me see something. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. But the only problem with this is I can't reach my other plugins like for my um, cell phone. Well, I got one right here. That might be enough. <laughs> that, that might have to do. But yeah. All right. I'm happy with that. Yep. I am happy with that. Now, the other thing about this situation is when I have to charge my jackery up, I have to take it all the way out because the plug, because the plug goes into the back of the jackery and I have that on its back. So I would have to take the jackery completely out, which I can slide it out from right here. So no problem. Woohoo! Now I'm gonna put my little centerpiece that I bought. Remember this, I bought this. All right. Got 
move these out of the way. This pillow is about, this pillow is about this much too long that way. Because I want my, I want it to fit right in there. Yep, it's too long. You know what I'm going to do? cut it yep I'm gonna cut it because the reason why I need to cut it is let me see if I can show y'all in order for this piece right here to fit I have to push this cushion right here back and that means the wood on this side is exposed instead of the cushion being at the edge of it like it's supposed to be so I'm gonna cut this down Where's my razor? Yep. I'm gonna cut this bad boy down. Oh yeah. Probably about somewhere right up in here. Oh yeah, we getting there. Right, so I'm gonna have to go to the gas station. Oh my lord, that's perfect. <laughs> that is perfect. Look at that. I gotta clean up though, but that's okay. It's perfect. put it back in this case. The case is going to be too big. But that's okay. That is perfect. Alright, that might that might have made my bed. <laughs> that might have made my bed a little shorter. 
That's okay. <laughs> That's okay. See, this is my cell phone wire here. It can fit right there. Ta-da! That's all I need. That's the most important one other than the jackery itself is to be able to plug my cell phone. Ah, oh, I can't even reach the thing to turn it on. You know what? I lift that bad boy up. How about that? Yeah. All right, let's let's make up my bed. Ah uh hoo! All right, let's let's move my clothes bag out the way. Excuse me. All right, we on the road, we on the road. Now. Now I put my sleeping bag down. But not least, the big daddy of them all, my wool blanket. I'm pulling this blanket out. There's people here at the park. <laughs> it is, there's people. There's people at the park. Two, two cars parked right up that way. I don't care. Oh, Anthony, I messed it all up. There we go. There we go. Get my pillow. Now let's go around the other side and put the table back up. table up. I'm 
go ahead and clean that mess up off the floor. I know y'all see it. Look at that. A lot of, a lot of sand on here, boy. Oh my gosh. All right, that's good for now. All right, now before I put the table up, I got to figure out where I'm going to put uh, my rice cooker, my heater, and my fan. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm going to sit these three items right underneath there. Right underneath there. I should try and put them up there. Let me see. Let me see if I can put one or two of them up top. Because I'm not using any of them right now. if I got any room up top going up top y'all we going up top So far, so good. I don't think that one will make it. All right, that's okay. I'll find room for these up front in the passenger's uh, floor space. I 
know why these things so hard to pick up at times. I don't know why. You know what? I'm gonna throw these little things up top. Like this. My light. I'm gonna throw these up top. This one might not. Oh, can't even see me. All right, now the only thing I gotta do is put my table up. It's not the neatest. <laughs> it's not the neatest looking thing, but put y'all on this side. This stuff. This stuff has shifted and now the hooks are not lined up.
now I can sit. All right. Now I can sit right here. That don't look the, that don't look the neatest. And I'm a very visual type of guy. Yeah, that doesn't that doesn't look the neatest right there. And I'm very visual. So maybe I'll put my pillow down this side. I don't know, y'all. I don't know guys, what you think? I don't know. It's a small bed looking at it from like this. <laughs> huh. All right, I think that's gonna have to do. I'll have to get over it but at least my bed is gonna be down all the time. So now, when I wanna come in here and take a little, when I wanna come in here, take a little nap or so, so I can always take this table down and move it out the way and have all of this space right here. I probably take the table down at night and put it on the front seat so that I can have this open space like I mentioned before. If I wanna take a pee pee, it'll be much easier and I'll have all this space to kneel down and take a pee pee. I think what's throwing me off here is this, this blanket. It's, it's not color coordinated. <laughs> I think if it was like a sage green or something, it would blend in much better and it, it wouldn't look like a, a eyesore to me. So I might have to go and buy like just just a green sheet or something. Nothing nothing too much. Just a green sheet and put over all of this. So that visually it would it would cuz right now it's bothering me. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to do that. And you know what? I can actually I can tuck this part in until I use it. Yeah, this bothering me. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to do something about that. But anyway, guys, since this part of the video has taken so long, I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. But this is what it's gonna look like now. I still have enough room for my exit and entrance. I'll have even more room if I take the table down, which I probably leave the table up most of the time. All right, guys, that's gonna be a wrap for today's video. <laughs> that was a lot. <laughs> that took a lot longer than I expected as well. And I still gotta clean out the front seat. But as always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.